I'm in the podcast room. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ben here at the Ben Black. You know what? Anyways, here doing a quick little episode on the paranormal. You know, so I was looking up. Oh, make sure the fire gets started. Let's go ahead and get with the sponsor here, everybody. So we got Pure West Compassion Club located at 9730 Adam Street, right here in Holland. Uh, we are there. Pure West Compassion Club. I totally forgot what I was saying first. Pure West Compassion Club. Uh, if you need to get a hold of them, their number is 616-772-9420. They are open from Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sunday, 12 to 4. Everybody, 12 to 4. Don't forget that. Uh, their website is purewestclub.com. If you need any information, anything that they do there, they have been around for almost 15 years. They're one of the longest running uh, medical marijuana uh, places in the state of Michigan. So they are, they've been around, they know what they're doing. They are great people. Give them a call. 616-772-9420. And then we also have uh, Southside, uh, Southside Cuts. They are located at 114 West 16th Street, right here in Holland. They're open Sunday through Saturday. 10 to 8. So get a hold of them. 616-836-7502. So, I was looking up. I was looking up different, or what the difference is between, or where did ghosts come when it, you know, talking about paranormal. So, but here's the, here's the thing that I looked up. Supernatural, the differences between supernatural and paranormal. Uh, since they're both described as things that are beyond scientific explanation. So, obviously that's something that's going on that you, if you can't explain it, or you don't know, or you, you know, something moves on the table, paranormal or supernatural. Supernatural actually uh, also refers to as a fiction genre. Well, paranormal can refer to as books about unusual unusual experiences. Now, that's kind of weird because, you know, ghosts, I, mean, I read that one in five people believe in ghosts, so we'll see about that. <laughs> but, so I was looking at this website and it's talking about the different, I mean, the, like, where is the scientific proof that ghosts, you know, are real? Um, Basically, it's talking about like a shadowy figure rushed through the door, and it has a skeletal body surrounded by a white. Okay, I never really, I mean, I've heard things, I've seen, I got stuff on camera, but there's a difference, like, you know, black shadow, um, things moving, uh, you hear noises, and things like that. Obviously, that's paranormal because you don't know where it's coming from, you don't understand, or you don't. Or you didn't see anything, but you hear stuff. So I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, it just like for example, it says paranormal's definition is donating evidence uh, or phenomena such as telekinesis or clairvoyance that are beyond the scope of sci normal scientific understanding. So I mean, you're looking at you know because you go to the cemetery and you go to the it's crazy here. You can take pictures, maybe you have some. But I'm going to look up what clairvoyance means. Clairvoyance is actually the supposed faculty of perceiving things or events in the future or beyond. So, kind of like a, basically a, um, what do you call it? I can't think of it. No. No, it does. Psychic. <laughs> Like psychic powers, ESP, things like that. That I mean, do you, that's another thing that, that goes along with that. Like, do you believe in people believing to tell the future? Can you? I mean, I, I don't know. To me, I don't. I don't think that's real. So, but ghosts are definitely real because I've seen them. Uh, 
But it's almost like you have to you have to see it to believe, but I don't I don't think a lot of people do. I don't think a lot of people are like that to where they can believe it without seeing it. But you know it's just just as the way it goes, I guess. You're right. But um and then you know you got telekinesis, which is you know ability to move by, um, stuff from your mind and things like that. I don't know. I just there's things where like um, telekinesis means the supposed ability to move objects at a distance by mental power or other non physical means. Like I can move this pop can across the table in my mind. No. I'm, <laughs> But I believe in ghosts. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of things out there that you you know you can't you can't explain because it's almost like like I said, if you if you hear something, things are happening and you're not you know, you don't understand where it's coming from, then how do you explain it? How do you how do you get from something or like say these quarters stacked on their own, which I heard this. That happened to somebody that I know. But, uh, so it's just almost like, where do you, how do you explain stuff like that? You know? And, oh my door, this microphone. One moment. One, one moment. One moment. Yeah, hold on, let me do, 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 do. My mic is all the way up as high as it can go. Let me turn it up. To, oh, you know what? I know what I did. What about now? All right, so I don't understand why this this mic is like like one of the good mics, but I don't understand why. I don't. Can you hear me? Oh my lord! What in the world is going on here? This. I'm changing mics. I hate this microphone. Um, I don't know why this mic goes in and out. It works when it wants to, I guess. I'm wondering if it's... Hold on. Test. Let's see. Can you hear me now? I did. Everything's, it worked fine yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. But anyways, you know what, hold on. Let me check something real quick because everybody always says they can't hear, but I can hear fine on my, on my phone. So. Let me check. Hold on. One moment. One moment. I could hear it fine. I think. But anyways, I can hear it fine. Hold on. Let me move way over here. Can you hear me now? Let me hold on. Hey, I even heard that door ding out there. But I can hear it fine on my on my on my do my earpiece. Because I'm playing it on my phone. But anyway. It's better? Okay, cool. Alright, so, yeah, let me, um, hold on. 
turn my phone down because I'm getting feedback in my ears. So definitely, um, that is just so weird that it's like doing that because most places people tell me that, you know, oh, I can hear it, but not that I can't. <laughs> Anyways, maybe I need to be a little bit closer. Maybe I can turn up the phone. Hold on. Let's see. Oh. All right. What about now? Anyway. Is it better or is it the same? Okay, so we're talking about ghosts tonight. We're just going to do a quick little episode because I got to finish editing the loud video, which I'm almost done by the way. Uh, but I just I I think that people that have like situations of certain paranormal activities, not like the movie, because that you know they the movies from compared to the regular. Uh, like regular life, obviously they exaggerate on stuff like that. But I think that you know, you for example, you you see things that happen, such as like doors opening, you hear people walking down the side or sidewalk <laughs> by like stairs or something. Well, John, go ahead and share some of those stories. Uh, that way, we can do some quick little. Uh, stories to share with people because I mean there's a lot of people that believe in them and there's people that don't give a crap but it's what it is whoops I'm not sponsoring Pepsi unless they want to pay me Pepsi you want to go ahead and pay us that'd be great no but <laughs> but I had like I said we have a uh, I had a video that I played before, that I had like shadows in, in my garage, stuff like that. There was doors opening, but it was almost like it's almost like you 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 have to have that proof almost to to, to show others that it's real that it happens. But then you got those ones that even though they saw it, they don't care. They oh, oh that's there's an explain. Okay, well explain it to me. How do you think that happened? You know, but they don't have an answer. So ghosts are real, no matter what. <laughs> but, um, but like I said, you know, there's there's a like telekinesis is a thing, which is I guess considered some type of paranormal. Because how do you explain people that actually have you ever seen anybody move something with their mind? I've never had. Maybe that's what ghosts do. They move things with their mind. You never know. But no, I was reading this uh, thing about ghosts, this article. 58% um, of those polled agreed that places can be haunted by spirits. So that's 58% of whoever, I don't know, it doesn't say how many people got polled, but there's, I mean, you know, back in the day, they used to do like, uh, you know, how when you took a picture, you had like light in it, or you know, that's that's an obvious. It could have been a, a mess up in the picture or something. Hey, what up, John? What up, or Moyo? What up, Kimberly? Thanks for watching. John's watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, hey, this Benjamin guy's watching. Tony, what up? Can you hear me now? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm just. I'm just curious about, the, you know, this, the paranormal, I'm very, because I watched the Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters, Paranormal Caught on Camera, uh, the celebrity ones that they talk about stuff. So, oh, he has a story. When I was 10, I was like,
Really? You saw a murder by two guys. Let me read that. I'm going to read that. It says, John says, well, when I was 10, I was at a campground on an old battlefield, or battleground in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and I saw a murder between two apparitions. Wow. That would have been crazy. You know, I want, there was actually a video that somebody shared on, that was on Paranormal kind of Camera, and I, that were sitting in their car facing, I think it was like a, a cannon, something, and there was something walking towards that, that car, and uh, it disappeared. It, it looked like a soldier walking towards their car. Obviously, they didn't think like that, but it's like, what the frick? Um, sleep paralysis is another thing that's part of that. And do you know another thing that I'm reading that says it's on that's part of paranormal? Have you ever seen faces in clouds? <laughs> that I mean, okay, whatever. I've never seen. It. Oh, it was a woman and a man. Oh wow. Yeah, that's weird. That would be crazy to see that for him. In front, of, how far do you? How far was it from you that you saw that? Like, if you were standing there, like, how far from where you were at that that, that you saw that? Um, this one, uh, okay. So one time, I was. Um, what up, group of piano? What up? We're back on, sweet. Yep, we are. Where are you at, Grubo Fierro? You're supposed to be over here, Mijo. Uh, I heard her crying and I looked up my bunk window. There was a black figure and a white figure. As soon as I looked out the window, the black figure had raised his hand, raised his, and he was holding something. Hold up. Struck the white figure there and I screamed and they were gone. Wow. That's creepy. Uh, they were sitting on the picnic bench about five feet away from my window. Drinking cheese, okay. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> but that's kind of creepy, actually. To actually. You know, to see it that close and then to witness something that actually happened years ago. <laughs> that's creepy. Very, very creepy. That's a good story. I like that. That's, uh, that's a new one. That's a good one. That's a new one. I, you know, because I've always wanted to go to Gettysburg and, and take pictures and video, see if we can catch something. That would have been cool. But that would been, that would be cool to do that. That would be Grupo Fiero. That would that would be good. Uh, I'm gonna call you. Do you want me to call you your name, or do you want me to call you by the the name that's on here? Uh, another place that I want to go is Tombstone, Arizona, because that has a huge history behind it compared to, like, um, uh, what's the other town? Uh, it's in Nevada. That whole area, the whole, the whole Old West thing, it would be a good spot to film, do ghost hunting, because if you know, the history of everything that happened in those years would be pretty cool to do. But, you know, I got, we got to travel. <laughs> Who wants to travel that far? Actually, I'm going to fix this camera because I'm too far away. Let me zoom in on myself so I can see my handsome self. And I didn't realize those beer cans were still in my Yeah, let's ignore the beer cans in the background because those aren't even mine. I mean, I'll travel. I'm not worried about that. Such as a white cat that I'd seen for years when I would say, stay in my friends. She also had the same interaction with this cat about six years later. Oh, wow. She didn't have a white cat. Oh, she didn't have a white cat. See, so, oh, that, you know what? That's crazy that you said that about the white cat because... I just saw a video too about this lady said, I think she was, look, she looked out her window and she started recording because she noticed there was a dog. Um, and she don't have a dog. She said, I don't know whose dog this is, but nobody around here has this dog. 
just kind of going, you know, staring at her with a weird smile in her window. So that would have been cool. What up, Diego? What up, Jeannie? Thanks for joining. We're talking about ghosts, everybody. Everybody that's joining right now. We uh, obviously there's a paranormal night. You got a story? Go ahead and share. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, I. But then there was another video on that. Same, it was one of those like. What are they called? Those compilation videos, where it has like different things, and so this other one was about this dog that was like going, you know. Uh, like scraping at the window, and she's like, I don't even have a dog. I don't even, my dog didn't bark. She had her dog, but her dog was already inside, so she didn't know whose dog it was. Wow. That would been, that, yeah, that would, see, stuff like that would be weird because, uh, did, uh, because back in the day, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but there was always this rumor or this thing about, Cat with a baby face. Does anybody remember that? Cat with a baby face. <laughs> when we lived on Central, uh, we would walk to my aunt's house, which she lived around the corner. And uh, we, I remember us talking about that stupid thing, and it scared me. <laughs> so we we would run home scared, being stupid. Woo woo. But uh, but yeah, I'm like. What the heck? Yeah, does, does anybody remember that cat with a baby face? Uh, but yeah, I was. It scared me to a point where I didn't want to walk home at night from from my aunt's house. It was weird. It was stupid too. But now you know. Now that we remember that type of thing, you know, you're like, or now that I think back at that, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like. How would it, why would I believe that? <laughs> hey, well, Angela, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Let me go ahead and get with the, or with the sponsors again real quick. We got Southside Cuts, located at 114 West 16th Street, right here in Holland. Give them a call, 616-836-7502 to make an appointment. They're open Sunday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Give them a call, right on 16th Street, 836-7502. Then we got Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adam Street, right here in Holland. Their phone number is 616-772-9420. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sunday, 12 to 4. Their website is purewestclub.com. Take a look at their website and see what they got, see what's available, see if there's anything new, something that you haven't seen. Or give them a call or stop by. Stop by. Whoop, rock camera. Whoops, rock camera. Sorry, guys. Um, yes, so I. The, okay, let me read another story from John. She, he says, a buddy of mine were watching his brothers while his mom was bartending. He had fallen asleep in his mom's room and I was on the couch and I was about to fall asleep. I heard a dog walking in the, in the wood floors, heard them tagging everything. Well, he didn't have a dog. His dog had been hit by a car on the street in front of their house on two weeks prior. Okay. Now that is something that I would probably freak out about. Uh, because... I remember our cat, got, one of our cat, well, actually two cats that we had. Uh, one got attacked by a dog, one got hit by a dog. Or, <laughs> got hit by a dog. Got hit by a car. Uh, I never really saw. See, that's the thing, too, is like, is there really an, animal ghosts? <laughs> Do you really see animal ghosts? What about dinosaur ghosts? Is there dinosaur ghosts? But, I mean, there's... All kinds of stuff up there. Uh, how come there's no? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there is, but uh, oh, see, okay, so that's what they call a uh, 
all those things. Basically, it's smart ghosts, if you want. I can't think of it. Uh, one that repeats itself because it's stuck somewhere. Watch if if you never watched Ghost Hunters, then you know pay attention to that because they explain different types of ghosts all the time, different styles, different types. But uh, I guess he got so bad where his mom smudged the house and what smudged. I don't know what that is, but uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's out there, it has to be, because how do you explain a lot of, because there's no way that this stuff isn't real with all the stories around the world of people that see things and they hear things and they record stuff and stuff is caught on camera. How do you explain that? How could you say that? Oh, Sage. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. But, um, how do you not believe that? How do you, how can you sit here through all this evidence that's been caught on camera? All these stories that people have. How do you not believe that? I don't know. I don't understand. I just, I feel that most people have to hear or see something happen before it happens. So. But, yeah. So I'm going to go on for another four more minutes and then I'm going to get off because I have to go finish this video. Um, hey, Michelle, what's going on? Michelle, thanks for joining. But, I mean, I just, I, just, I feel that I, I, there's a lot of people, like I said, I read it was one out of five people believe in ghosts. So, what is that percentage? I'm, I don't like math, so I'm just going to it. So one divided by five. That's 20%. That's 20% of people that, whoever they ask. 20% is still a high number out of millions of people. So 20% of Americans, American population believe in ghosts. So we're just going to leave it at that. Um, Okay, what up? Hey, what up? Los Estrellas de Arrow. I'm sorry, I messed up. I'm done. Uh, the very next. Oh, yeah, not me. <laughs> anyway, no, they were here the other night. They did an awesome show. Uh, Monday night, they did great. Check them out. Estrellas de Arrow. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you guys being here. It was fun. Uh, also, I would watch my sister's daughter, and every night the TV turn downstairs will turn on it. You know what? Stuff like that. Okay, that's a that's a good one, John. I'm glad you said that. Now that's another thing, like sinks turning on by themselves, uh, TVs turning up by themselves, or turning off, or something. You know. Um, Another thing, um, old music. Have you ever heard old music? My uncle's house in Kentucky, he's heard old music. And they don't even have that type of music there. Like, how would you even have that music still? I just, I don't know. So, it is what it is. People believe the dogs must sit at the top of the stairs and down the road. See, okay. Animals, they, they believe in ghosts. I mean, they, they have to because they see things. But you know what I mean. Like, animals see things. Kids. Kids. Kids believe in ghosts. Now, I remember when I was younger. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it was just because I got older and I realized what ghosts actually were. But, um,. I don't remember seeing things. I, I remember hearing things. But I don't remember seeing anything that, you know, made me think ghosts were real until I got older. But I don't know. Maybe it was just something. What's going on? Uh, golden stars, thank you. The senses are so strong that they see, hear, and smell. That's true. That's very true. Um, but yeah, we... 
there's there's a lot of people out there like mediums. There's not, see, and that's the thing too between mediums and what is that other thing? Oh, psychics. Uh, I don't know if I believe in that. That's the one thing that I that I, I I try to like back away from because I'm like, yeah, I don't really care for that. You know. I mean, sometimes they can probably get some stuff right, but then it's almost like, how do you believe that? You know, how how can you believe that somebody in another whatever realm is being able to get talk to you? Uh, my daughter used to stare at a wall in my old house and laugh and start crying and then screaming. There has been so much I have no time to talk about it. Talk I food. <laughs> You know, John, I, when that's fine, you, I mean, we can have a whole show about it, but, I mean, there's a lot of things that, like, even kids see, you know, hey, Pat, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, I'm going to go on for another minute, uh, but uh, it's just, uh, there's just so much, uh, evidence out there that there's, it's hard to not believe, you know, even people that um, sit here and and say, like, for example, if you, like, if you've ever watched that show, Paranormal Comedy, there's so much video footage of people's homes, people, you know, houses, businesses that have footage of things happening, but yet people are going to be like, ah, I don't believe in that stuff. Okay. How do you not believe in that? You know what I mean? So, uh, some of you guys are giving me one second. One second, folks. So, yeah, definitely, uh, whoopsies. So, definitely something to believe in, because, or something to think about. Not something you don't have to believe in it, but. Something to think about with all of the evidence that is out there for people to um, to watch and to learn from others and be able to to see the the, the other things that are out there, like UFOs. Like, there's, don't even get me started. On that, but, um, there's also a lot of a lot of uh, proof of that too because there's a lot of uh, video footage of people catching things and being able to post it and see it from different and seeing that's the other thing like how are so many people in mass amounts saying say uh you know about uh, UFOs and how how are so many people seeing the same things? You know, so it's like, and it doesn't even have to be like a saucer saucer shit. Because I remember a while back, I don't even want to hear with early two thousand days. I remember going to uh, my niece's mom's house with my brother. And they were out there looking at something that were had binoculars. And we finally found what they were looking at, and it was weird because it stayed in the same spot. And I don't know what it was. But then it made me think and look back, and I'm like, what if that was a spot in the binocular? <laughs> that we're, we're sitting here just staring at something, and there was a little, uh, who knows. But whatever it was out there, it, it was a triangle shape black triangle shape and it was way up it was like what a plane would be way up and it was almost like it, it wouldn't move you could see a reflection the sun the reflection on it but it was like I don't know it was kind of weird actually but um, let me get back to the question said oh Pat Fathers went oh well, Yes, John, we have, not at this place, but the other studio that we were in, we have had some stuff happen there. Um, 
nothing too extent. Oh, we did get orbs. Um, and Marcos would see things. He sees shadows there. I saw a shadow there. I saw something like move this way, like it was on my left, move this way. Um, because the other guy. Middle room where the ladder was. The photography room you're talking about? Or the far room at the end of the hall? Because yes, we have seen stuff here. Not I haven't, but other people have. So um, but yeah, that was thing is an updated version. What up, Amy? Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's, um, I mean, it probably, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't doubt it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I personally haven't seen anything at this spot, but other people have. So that's just, I mean, because the other spot, we, like I said, I saw a shadow there. Because I remember I was sitting like this, and the front door was over here, and the bathroom was that way, like my left. And um, I saw something move this way, and I looked like that, and I was like, because I thought somebody was over there. So, yeah. But anyway, all right, well, I want to thank everybody for joining. Let me go ahead and get with the sponsors one more time before I log off, because I got to go finish this video, and I got to go watch Cobra Kai. That was so true. So, let me uh, get with the sponsors one moment. Let me get to that screen. Again, we got Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adam Street, right here in Holland. Give them a call, 616-772-9420. Uh, it's past 8, so they're already closed, but you can call them tomorrow. They are open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Or Sunday, 12 to 4. Their website is purewestclub.com. Look it up. See what they got. If you like what they got, go visit them purchase something, buy something, because they are very good people. They will help you out and get you some good some good uh, product. And then you got Southside Cuts. Thank you, Moyo. We appreciate you, bro. Uh, get a hold of them. 616-836-7502. They're located at 114 West 16th Street. Uh, right here in Holland. They're open weekly, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And, uh, yeah, they're good people. They got seven barbers, and they are looking uh, good. Give them a call. Set up an appointment. So, uh, all right. Well, ooh, wrong for Where's my? Ooh. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, John, for the stories. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was getting my playback too. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, John, thank you, man. I appreciate it uh, for the stories. That, that was a pretty good one. Uh, but I will keep an eye out for that ghost here. But everybody have a good night, and I will see you guys. Well, actually, I might not see you guys Friday night because I'll be going to Kentucky to visit my mom and family. And, uh, yeah, we'll have fun. So I will probably see you guys Monday night um, with our guests, and uh, we'll see you then. All right, everybody have a good night, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.
It's talking in my ear. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I was wondering why I was like, who the fuck is talking?
Let you finish your video. I gotta get started on what I gotta do. That's up to you, man. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 